one of my favorite wonders of nature, birds. Usually they're nice to have around. They chirp, they sing, they soar, and they chirp again. But in some places, a flock of our fine feathered friends can be a problem. And what gets those birds to skedaddle? Enter the chirpinator. Birds are a majestic sight, feathered creatures of extraordinary beauty. But in certain environments where people and birds intersect, birds can present a safety issue. At airports, for example, birds colliding with airplane windshields and engines have caused a number of accidents. And at landfills, birds can become aggressive and dangerous as a result. So 28-year-old Nico Nijenhaus of the Netherlands has come up with a way to clear dangerous flocks temporarily from certain environments. And his solution involves the use of bigger birds, natural predators. But Nico isn't using real birds. He's come up with a way to use robotic birds, or ro-birds. The ro-birds are designed to mimic birds of prey, a way to harmlessly chase unwanted birds from sensitive areas. Welcome, Nico. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Mo. I'm happy to be here. How many ro-birds have you already developed, and what are their different uses? So currently, we have developed two types of ro-birds. The first one is a falcon, and the second one is an eagle. The falcon has got a span of about 1 meter and 12 centimeters, and the eagle has got a span of close to 2 meters. The bodies of the ro-birds are strong and light, made of a composite nylon and glass fiber and the wings are made of a flexible foam. In nature, there's actually two things needed to trigger the instinct of birds to feel that they are confronted with a predator. The first thing is the silhouette. It needs to look like a predator. The second thing is also very important. It needs to move like a predator. The row birds, while still a work in progress, are so sophisticated they've already passed the ultimate test. Actual birds think the row birds are real birds. The goals for this year are uh, executing successful trials at several airports in Europe and also in other areas like agriculture. Currently pilot operated from the ground, Nico hopes row birds will be soon able to fly autonomously and ultimately keep humans and those flocks safe. Well, best of luck, Nico. Thank you, Mo.